Hello YouTube, welcome to my new shed. Um, I just realised how long it had been since I put a update on YouTube. Here's the car sitting in it. Um, you'll notice that uh, my new workshop's a lot nicer, a bit lighter than the old one. And uh, I've actually got a new arrival over there, I'll talk about that in a minute. So here's the, uh, the holding as it sits. Just about finished the last of all the uh, filler work over the body. Um, a few of the panels are sitting there in primer. I've got one more that's still in filler at the moment. Um, I've basically just skim coated whole panels um, just to get it nice and flat. So uh, there's not a huge amount of filler um, with regards to thickness anywhere. Um, but I've got a little bit over most of the panels because I want it to be perfectly straight. Because it has got such pink panels you would notice it. Uh, here's one of the other. This is the last door I'm doing here. Same sort of thing. Uh, this was the one which I took a massive dent out of so it's come up pretty good another door over there so this is um this is a new arrival this is a i suspect to be a 1957 austin a35 i picked this up locally um, for not a huge amount of money and there's a reason why there's not a huge amount of money because it requires a huge amount of work um, i've taken the gl back glass out of it it's just sitting there um i'll try and get these panels out of the way, I apologise if it's noisy, it's bloody uh, the uh, Sour Westerly's coming in here quite bad at the moment so it's quite windy. So this is a two door Austin A35 and these things are pretty rare over here, um, especially in two door, you don't see a huge amount of them compared to the likes of the Mori Miners. And you say, why the hell would I buy a little pissy Austin A35 and in there is 850 cc's of fire breathing fury out of the old mother country because that little piece of crap is going to get ripped out and I'm going to put a Holden six cylinder engine in it. Peter Brock the famous Holden racing car driver his first race car was an Austin A30 which is essentially the same as this with a Holden six cylinder engine in it. Now this thing weighs only about 700 kilos so you put a 200 and something horsepower six cylinder engine in it and she's going to go like stink so this is going to be a long term extensively modified project um, I'll build a rotisserie for this uh, the body shell will get sandblasted because there's a huge amount of body work that needs to go into this same sort of thing as with the with the statesman um, bottom of the rear bottom of the where the top of the guards are there rear quarters um, all sorts in the doors both sills need to be done but it's a small car and I've now got access to a whole lot of sheet metal fabrication equipment so that shouldn't be too much um, of an issue to continue doing it so it'll be done slow and steady and done right because I'm gonna put a fair bit of effort into this thing so yeah holding six cylinder engine four speed gearbox I've got them sitting out there already um, I will change over the front suspension probably to um, custom units. I haven't decided if I'm going to go for a McPherson strut uh, like you get in say your normal um, everyday car or more of a double A arm or double wishbone you see in kit cars. Um, so that'll be custom front and with what it, off the shelf hubs or something like that because these are just crappy disc brakes. Ah sorry, um, drum brakes. I do have a bonnet for by the way it's sitting there um, and of course I have to build a firewall I'll get an aftermarket pedal box and fit that up there with the clutch cylinder and mast cylinder sitting up there um, I'll probably go for some prop for some modern bucket seats they will get moved back a little bit even though I'm not a very tall guy it's still um, it's not the perfect driving position I'll make a, um, my own dash I think, I'll do a sheet metal dash that comes away the whole lot, I don't really want this area in here and then instead of having a gauge panel in the centre I'll probably put smith gauges or something similar um, here in front so a custom gauge will go quite nice. It'll be caged as much as I can, um, as much as a cage I can run on the street, this will be, this will be street legal as well, I'm, I don't see the point of just making a race car. Um, though I will race it at some point in time, so full cage, probably no back seat, it'll have, I'm thinking about rear suspension, it's got, it's, um, it's elliptic springs, so it's just, um, you know, leaf springs in the back, and it kind of restricts with, 
what rear tyres you can run. I'm not going to flare it because um, I don't think they look very good flare. So it'll probably do a four. I'll probably do a four link setup in the back with an extremely narrow diff. I mean, this thing's only it's only three and a bit metres long and one and a half metres wide. It's not a very big car. Uh, and of course the well the, came with a whole heap of spares so the whole boots just full of spares I've got in there these rubbers and a couple of diffs a lot of it I'll just get rid of because it's essentially of no use to me I mean what I really was buying was the body I mean that's all I really wanted and it's it's not in the best of nick by any stretch of the imagination which is why I have no uh, second thoughts about cutting it and um, jamming something in it that's going to make it a bit special uh, yeah, so this is a new project and don't expect it to be overnight. Um, it'll be a long term thing. I mean, I've still, I've, we've been in this new house of ours maybe, I think six weeks, two months. And I've only, I had to hurry up and make room for this thing when it was coming. Um, and I still haven't even set up any um, workshop space here. Um, I've got a whole heap of stuff to build new benches and um, stuff like that out of these trestles that I got given. Um... But I've sort of been working quite hard just to try and get all the filler work on this done. I'm hoping the body should go for spray putty or high build primer um, maybe next week or this weekend. I'm going to go have a chat to the guy tomorrow and take in the rest of those panels. Just finishing the boot up there. So yeah, so this is where I'm at. This will be my new workshop, my happy home for the next wee while. Um, probably reasonable size. There would be more room if I didn't go out and buy this. <laughs> yeah but um oh, i thought i wanted a project like this or something you can build i wanted to you know build something that had a bit of a get up and go rather than just this um more of a cruising car so yeah this is what i've got myself in for like i said there's a hell of a lot of panel work in it someone's tried to have a go at it before i think it's been off the road about 10 or 15 years um or maybe more i don't know um yeah, but a lot of crappy bodywork in the back of it. I mean, if you go, actually, this is over the other side, and here's the bottom end. Yeah, you give it a bit of a kick, and out pops the rust. Um, so yeah, so basically, all the bottom section of this needs to be done: new sills, bottom of the doors, that sort of thing. But for the most part, the stuff I need's all there. Um, I'm not having to chase body panels and stuff like that, which. I would not even dream to do for a car like this um, in this country anyway I think in the UK you're a bit better for spares yeah so sorry for the long-awaited update but there we go see you guys